Hi guys, Nathan from Outserve back again with another Shopify video. This one was in the pipeline, but I'm doing it a bit early um, in response to a comment on our last flow video. And this is how do we dynamically assign SKUs to products? If you've got loads, it could be really difficult. Unfortunately, this isn't available out of the box in flows, but what we can do um, is we can run it through Shopify's import export function. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So here we are on the Shopify admin. I'm in my product section. This is our test one. And I've got some test products here. All I've done before this, and for the sake of time, I've exported um, current page, all page, whatever matching a search. Um, export as a CSV. I usually just do plain CSV, but it, these have a bit more formatting. And then export that. I'll email you the file, and then you can put that in to your spreadsheet software. Um, I'm using Google Sheets in this example because it's nice and in browser. Um, you can use whatever you want. All I have done here is I've imported and that's all come in here. So here are my products. We can see my handles, the titles, the body, any categories and things they've got um, coming up. Now, it looks scary. There's loads of com columns, but that's OK. The only one we're going to need for this is variant skew, which is over here. I already have a variant skew for these two products. Um, but that's on purpose because I want to replace them. So I'll remove those out. Now we're going to put a function in. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to say all the way over here, I'm going to take my handle. I'm going to take the first three letters and we're going to go from there. So the first thing I'll do, equal sign to start a function and I'm going to do reg x extract which is regular expression extract so this runs kind of a regular expression which is like a little snippet which will run over what we've got to get the bits and i'm going to want with column a and i'm going to want number two. Oh, so i'm going to put a two and i'm going to put a comma here's my regular expression there are loads of tools out there on how to build these i won't go into it right now um so here's one i made earlier this is my expression so i'm going to get all letters a to z and i'm going to get the first three of them and if i press enter on that this is just going to show us the first three letters now this is great but it doesn't give us quite what we want so first next thing i want to want i want to want them all to be capitals so i want to put upper in my function let's so stretch my brackets out now press enter and right there oh great i've got all the first oh but we've got some clashes right Let's fix that. Let's use a random number to do with this. So the way I would do the random number is I'm going to still want these texts and then I'm going to want the number on the end. So I'm going to use the concatenate function. There we go. And the concatenate function takes two. So I've got my first string and my second string and more in an array afterwards so my first one is going to be our letters still what we want and the next one i'm going to do is i'm going to put in our random numbers now for this because it's i want it to be a string so i want sort of my numbers but i don't want it to be number number i want it to fit in the same format so what i'm going to look at here is i'm going to throw in this is kind of optional the two text function which can provides uh, converts the numeric value to a text value Close my brackets and in here I'm going to put rand between. This is a random number generator between two options. And the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to use a five digit one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go from 10,000 to one, two, three, four, five, 99,999. This is going to get all the random numbers between there. We should randomize it nicely. And um, if you've got lots of products, they still may have clashes, accidental or not. There's loads of things you can do for up to sort of really big random numbers um, to look at this way. In terms of SKUs, I would actually look at maybe doing some different bits, but this will work for now. And I'll press enter. And that gives us that, which is nice. Just to make things look a bit format, I'm going to put a dash in there. And press enter and drag that down. And that's how we would create loads of random SKUs. From here, I can save this document export it as a csv go back into shopify click the import here add my file and then it'll import my files with my new SKUs. thanks for watching see you soon